Hey geeks, before we get started, make sure to do your boy a favor, like, subscribe, leave some comments on the video, let me know what you want to see in the future, and make sure to check out our giveaways playlist because we got some great giveaways coming up. What's poppin' sugar? Here with the Uncanny X Men Retro Marvel's Rogue. She's been hot at Target because nobody wants to pay the plus hundred dollars from the Juggernaut wave. All right, so you see she's on the classic retro card that's been so popular lately. It's amazing to me how the Retro Legends first came out and the first two waves weren't that hot, but now they're all the rage. Everybody goes crazy for them. Retro goodies on the back. Rogue can absorb superpowers, personality traits, strength, and even memories from others with a single touch making her capabilities in any matchup nearly limitless. These talents have naturally led her to be a leader among the X-Men. Spoiler for those of you that don't read the book, she got her super strength and near invulnerability by absorbing the powers of Captain Marvel, the female Captain Marvel. All right, there she is in her teeny tiny cage. You see she comes with an ungloved hand and a fist clenching her glove that she took off. She takes that glove off, you better run eBay price bussin' booty shot. Alright, peek at her alternate hands. Peekaboo. Woo, she did not want to stand. I tried her on my light box, I tried her on the spinning display, I tried her with a peg, the peg wouldn't fit, I tried her on my glass work desk. She did not want to stand. And what's crazy is she looks like she'd stand very well. The legs look solid, the feet are straight. They're not crooked like a lot of female characters, like a lot of females have that little hooked foot at the bottom. I mean, she looked, taking out the package, I was like, okay, she's gonna be great for posing. But man, I couldn't get her to stand, so I have, I have to mess around with her after the video. Anyway, other than that, looking at her, she looks great. Man, she's got the big 90s hair, the 90s look. She's got that classic green and yellow. And you've seen these body parts used over and over again. She's got those classic wide hips they use for a lot of females. Um, I'm not a big fan of it, but I prefer to that narrow bony, um, Buck that they used, I think, um, who was on like a Mary Jane and such. So, if you got to take the list of two evils, I wish they would just come up with a new body altogether. But other than that, she looks really clean. I see a few marks on mine, but I can wipe those off. All right, so I'm loving the face sculpt here. Clean, looks like a fresh sculpt, and the makeup is tight, the paint is tight. Love the big hair, the white really pops off. Looking at my costume, I've got one little dot of blemish right there, right in her, I think it's the collarbone. <laughs> and then she's got some stray black marks here that I can just wipe off. But her X uniform symbol is clean and the two bars on the top, they're painted clean. It's a really good job. Don't like the side where you can see the break between the vest and the sleeves. I wish they had painted up their brown. I don't like when they do that because it throws it off. If you're taking a picture from the side, it looks just plain stupid. All right, big, big, big hair from the back. That's crazy, I love it. But I can already tell you, that head's probably not gonna tilt back with all that mutton back there. All right, so paint is really clean here. Lines are good, I got a chip. Hopefully you won't have that one. Serial number in the perfect place where it can show up in all your photos. Now, inside of her body is yellow, so if you're doing any pictures, of her flying, you can see that green go up in there, but then there's gonna be a break in the yellow, but that's a rare occasion. Loving the thigh high boots. I wish they brought them up a little bit higher. And I wish that the green paint didn't break right there. So when you bend her knee, you'll see the yellow behind the boot. They should have taken that all the way down green to the joint. And there's those feet I talked about. They look straight and solid, great for standing, but appearances can be deceiving. All right, what'd that head do? Oh. Whoa. All right, so buyer beware. That head will pop off. So you can technically get a 360, but you gotta raise it up above the collar. That hair is what causes it to pop off. So you can get it around if you want to. I'm not doing that. A little bit of a tilt. Straight ahead. Yep, that hair is not letting that head go back. Goes down a little bit. 
Oh, I'm so ashamed. Arms go yay high. Single jointed elbow. Here's your range. Full 360 on the arm. Full 360 on the elbow swivel. Mm. Can't really get a repulsor blast. Can go straight ahead. Definitely kiss the ring. Wingspan. Upper torso rocker. Smooth, kind of loose. No waist articulation. Torso straight ahead. Torso going back. And forward. And she bends way over. I'm behind in my editing, so no twerking today. Can she can can? Yes, she can can. She's kicking indoors. Yoo-hoo! Decent split. 360 on the thigh. 360 on the leg, all the way around. Don't make me a liar. There we go. Please don't scratch my paint. Her belt does move. Double jointed knee. Can she kick her butt? Almost. The top of her boots do move. These swivel around. And the rings below them swivel around. That kind of caught me off guard. Very limited range on the toe pointing up. Pointing down, you don't quite get flush with the calf, but you get basically no movement pointing upwards. It's a uh, straight ahead or kind of straight ahead. And by the way, the tassel on her hair, her headband is movable. And there she is with her alternate hands coming in for the touch. Hold on, sugar. Let me take this glove off. All right, there she is, Target exclusive retro robe. What do you think? I think she's pretty sweet. Other than the fact that I can't get her to stand up, but maybe that'll come with some time, maybe some practice. But anyway, love the colors, love the retro hair. Of course, don't like the serial number on the leg. Paint is a little bit sloppy than I want it to be, but I can deal with it. Really dig the face sculpt. I think her face is gorgeous and it really looks like Rogue from the comic book from the 90s. So I think they hit a home run here. All right, were you able to nab her? Are you interested in her? Are you gonna stick with your Juggernaut Wave Rogue or are you gonna put both on the shelf? Let me know. Thanks for watching guys. Like, subscribe, tune in for the giveaways and make sure to turn on notifications. Till next time, geek out, sugar.